Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're checking out this $800 NZXT pre-built. And it's one of the cheapest ones from them we've checked out. And this video is sponsored by NZXT. We're gonna be taking a sponsored look at their foundation PC featuring 5600G. Um, for those who can't get PCs with graphics cards right now, is this a good option for you? Well, we're gonna talk about that. Definitely check out NZXT build and all the PCs they have to offer. But this one right here is the most budget-friendly option. So uh, yeah, let's just not waste any more time and open it right up. Today we're opening up this pretty small NZXT build box is a lot smaller than what we're used to seeing and that is because this is just a really basic bare bones PC this is their foundation PC because well I guess you could say this is I mean you know it's the most basic PC you can get so this one just has a Ryzen 5600G 16 gigs of RAM a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD we'll check out the motherboard and power supply once we get into it but overall for 800 bucks I mean it's pretty competitive uh, well we actually have our own PC selling business and that's you know it, uh, this one might honestly be cheaper than ours so um Shame on you guys for being so good. ZNZXT was cool enough to send over a graphics card to show you guys how it performs when you upgrade it too with a GPU. So we'll be doing both tests. We don't do that. <laughs> you ain't getting a free graphics card. But uh, yeah, so this is in the H510, a legendary case from them. I do wonder if they'll ever use the flow for something like this. The flow would be good. Oh my God. Be cool. Well, there's nothing in the box. So we're it was good. just aggressive. Um, we actually got the matte white and black one. So nice black interior with the nice matte white finish on the outside. So let's go ahead and get it open. But yeah, the the, uh, the foundation of this PC, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, is the fact that there is a graphics card shortage right now, which all of you are well aware of. And NZXT yes. wanted to offer something really cheap that doesn't require a graphics card. And also their PCs with graphics cards are more expensive than they used to be because of the shortage. They're just more expensive. We know that firsthand. Um, yeah. So they wanted to offer the cheapest PC possible. And I think they've done it pretty well here. And you guys gotta remember the graphics card is arguably one of the easiest things to upgrade in your PC. It's not the cheapest, but it's one of the easiest so um, that's the reason why we do a lot with the APU builds you know I mean it's it's a smart thing to do right now so we're glad that NZXT um, sent this over for us to check out they actually still use the sealed air which I'm kind of like surprised because uh, that stuff's not cheap that just mm -hmm. goes to show that NZXT really does uh, care about the customers so we're actually a pretty nice guide they show you how to hook up the monitors and they talk about if it has a graphics card make sure you use that They show you how to plug in your USB peripherals your internet um, sync up sound, you'll want to plug in, okay, that's for the auxiliary, and power it up. I do like how they tell you to do this stuff in order and then power. There's a lot of people that, for some reason, will power it on and then hook everything up. They actually give you numbers on the back here uh, to show you which order to do it in. Trying to make sure I don't get shocked by that static. Boop. And this board actually has Wi-Fi built in. I really like when companies do that. A lot of companies are a little bit cheaper and they actually will just give you like a USB adapter typically that they're, they're very iffy. USB adapters, it's, you know, sometimes they work great. Sometimes they don't work like at all and they cut in and out, they turn on and off. We've had our fair share of adapters that are um, iffy. So it is nice that they actually include a motherboard that has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Pretty much any modern board that has these Wi-Fi antennas will also support Bluetooth out of the box. So. Right before we open this PC up, let's just see what we get in here because NZXT is really well known for like their customer support and the amount of instructions and stuff they have. So H510 case instructions, power supply, um, the B5. So it is a B550 UDAC. What would UD be? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to get into that. Um, <laughs> gigabyte, which I assume that would be for the motherboard. The motherboard. Yep, so part of Gigabyte. Um, our two Wi-Fi antennas, which look more like paddles, they're Wi-Fi paddles. Ooh. We have, so one thing about NZXT is their uh, front uh, USB port is a combo jack, so they actually include a little adapter, just in case, I know a lot of you at home, because you guys do this with us, you go to plug in the single jack and you're like, why is my mic not working? That is simply a headphone jack on a PC. You have to use this little splitter to get both signals out, and they actually include this so that you could add something like a liquid cooler later on, so pretty cool. It actually does come with a not stock cooler. It actually has a tower cooler on it. Um, so that's another thing they, they could have really saved money on if they wanted to, but they're like, nah, we gotta be fancy. That's why this is in here. That makes a little bit more sense. This is in here so that their cooler doesn't you know, fall off. And funny enough, they use deep cool. Yep. I've always wondered why NZXT doesn't make their own air cooler yet. It's a full size but, board too, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, no, they actually did a good job. I mean, they could have cheaped out and done like a micro ATX board because those definitely are cheaper. Um, that has a lot of lanes on it. Mm -hmm. Mining board? Mining board, <laughs> question mark? I feel like it has to be, but no, it's interesting to see four PCI lanes like really close to each other, but we do have a 16X 
um, up top, which is what you need for a graphics card. There's even one all the way down here. Um, so I guess in theory, if you ever wanted to add like an Elgato capture card or whatever to get into streaming, you could. So out of the box, Matt and I, we're gonna do some benchmarking on this, of course, but out of the box, this PC is amazing for esports titles. You know, you're running one uh, Fortnite at 1080p, performance mode slash pro settings, CSGO, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, games like that are great for like 720p, 1080p. Don't get this to play AAA titles on with just the APU. Now, if you have that good mindset though, you buy this right now for 800 bucks, you have a great gaming PC, throw in a graphics card when you're ready, and then you can play your AAA titles. And we will show you how to upgrade the graphics card, super easy peasy here in a little bit, but first what we're going to do is go ahead and test it in some, well, APU games. Yeah. All right, gamers, now that we have this NZXT pre-built all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now, we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles using the Vega graphics. That is Fortnite, Apex Legends, and Rocket League. Now, we have tested a 5600G PC so many times on the channel, so if you want to see some other benchmarks, definitely look around. The performance numbers are going to be pretty much identical, but in Fortnite, on performance mode low settings, you get 80 plus FPS at 1080p. If you're new to the PC space, you're probably wondering why why is NZXT selling a PC without a graphics card? You need a graphics card to game. Well, these AMD APUs are very capable of playing esports titles at really good settings and get good FPS numbers. As you can see right here using the Fortnite performance mode, which is designed for slightly lower end hardware, you can get 80 to 100 FPS, which is more than playable in my opinion for an entry level gaming PC. Now where you start to see the APU struggle a little bit is in a game like Apex Legends before a graphics card upgrade. If you lower the the resolution to 1600 by 900 or play on an old school like 720p monitor that you would see at like your school or something like that um, you would get close to 60 fps but at 1080p you're only getting about 30 to 40. we did drop it down to 1600 by 900 just for proof of concept and as you can tell we got about 50 fps but it's still not the perfect 60 fps that everyone looks for now with Rocket League, a game that is pretty easy to run, but it's a game that makes sense for this APU. On performance settings at 1080p, we get 70 plus FPS. And recap, the Ryzen 5 5600G out of the box with Vega graphics will run games like Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, Rocket League, no problems whatsoever, League of Legends, TFT from League of Legends, all those different things, uh, no problems on the integrated graphics. So if you're just trying to get into PC gaming, it makes a whole lot of sense, but the benefit of this is you can upgrade the performance. You're not stuck with just the performance of this CPU. You can add a graphics card later when you want to go out and buy one when the market is better. And what we're going to do real quick is jump to showing you how you can go and upgrade that graphics card. You want to know how to install it in this exact PC? Well, Jackson's going to show you right now. So now that we have our graphics card open and ready to go, um, it's high enough up to where I'm just going to go ahead and get it installed. A lot of times if you have the graphics card low, you gotta remember you do need those PCI adapters. This one specifically takes an eight pin right here. Um, so normally you'd wanna run that through here, like back there, but the card runs nice and high. So we don't have to worry about adding that. So next thing I usually do is I just look and I know that a graphics card, the very top is always the top of the lane. So it's gonna be this bracket and this bracket. So in this case specifically, we do have a little shield. We have to just slightly loosen and then we're gonna move it up. And now let's go ahead and remove these two. I still have plastic on my fingers. It's stuck there forever. I got my acrylics on, bro. <laughs> All right, so now we have our two little covers out, and then we're gonna take this off. This is pretty important. It's gonna be really hard to install with that on. Hopefully it doesn't work, but I've seen people make uh, some pretty crazy things happen. So now we're just going to basically line the card up. Don't start forcing right away. Get it to where you're like comfortable. Like see how I have it a little bit in there right now? And now it is gonna take a little bit of pressure but you can hear a nice little click and that click is basically there's a, a release in the very back there. And once that release latches itself, you know you're good. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our screws back in so the graphics card doesn't fall out. And now we need to just power the card. So we're gonna have to take the back panel off. Back panel will come off. All right, and then here's what we're looking for. You see how it says VGA. We actually have like way more than enough capability for upgrade. You can see it actually came with two, um, looks like, yeah, it actually came with four eight pin. Sure. So you could, uh, yeah, you could really, you could go up to like a 3090 in this pretty much if you wanted to, but obviously that wouldn't make any sense. So here's your VGA. This is their standard six pin plus two more. So it's six plus two equal eight. So now we're just going to take this. It'll only go in one way and then plug it in. 
And now what we'll probably do is take a zip tie or two. Let's do that real quick on camera. So you guys can see the full Toasty Bros method, our methodology. So usually we like to make sure all this stuff's tidy. You know, we don't want to leave cables all loose and crazy. So I usually do one here and then we'll do one like right down here so we can kind of hide this. That's gonna look really nice. Very nice build, as Zach would say. Easy peasy. I'm gonna kind of bend that down so it goes all the way in there. And then as long as you did everything right, you should be able to just to plug in your display to the graphics card. So you're gonna to wanna to pop one of these out. We'll be using HDMI, I believe. So mm -hmm. go ahead and take that out and I'll put it here because we can't use this anymore. You can no longer use your integrated APU graphics. You have to use the graphics card now. But yeah, we'll be able to take this over there, hook it up to our benchmark station. It should just pop up. And then the next most important thing to do is go to AMD's website. If you're using an AMD Radeon card and download the latest graphics drivers for your graphics card. Otherwise the graphics card is going to run like crap. It might not work at all. Your resolution is going to be all weird. So a lot of important reasons to download your latest drivers. So what we're going to go ahead and do is install those said drivers and then dive into testing those games again, but with the graphics card to show you all how much performance you get. Let's oh, yeah. do it. All right, now that we showed you how to upgrade your PC with a graphics card, let's see how it performs with an RX 6600 XT, which is a mid-range graphics card that I imagine when the market gets better will be quite affordable and will make a lot more sense with a Ryzen 5 5600G in this NZXT pre-built. And Apex Legends using the exact same settings, so we don't change any variables here. You really aren't going to be running on all low anyways, but regardless, we got 220 FPS. Remember before, we averaged 30 to 40 at 1080p, and we jumped all the way up to 220 FPS. If you're looking at that 240 FPS gaming experience, then upgrading with an RX 6600 or equivalent GPU, like an RTX 3060 level card, you will have a really good experience. Now we decided to throw in a game that was not even possible to play on the Vega graphics, and that's Call of Duty Vanguard. On medium settings at 1080p, we average 130 FPS. As you can see by this gameplay, that doesn't make you a good gamer. If you're a bad gamer, you're just not gonna get good gameplay. But if you have the FPS, you have the ability to practice and get better. But unlike me, I just died like 50 million times here in Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, yeah, sorry about that gameplay. But as you can see, this is a full-fledged gaming PC. This PC's performance is equivalent to you just building a PC with a Ryzen 5 5600X and an RX 6600 XT. That is the beauty of the 5600G. It gets you started and the upgrade is super simple and will give you really awesome performance. Now last we decided to test Fortnite, we didn't see as big of a difference because when you're on performance mode you are very CPU dependent so that 5600G is doing most of the work, but we did see about a 40 FPS increase, about 140 and sometimes we were topping out at 200. The highs were a lot higher but we did still hit the same lows of about 80 to 100 FPS. So in recap, I mean the NZXT APU pre-built PC makes a whole lot of sense to me. I'm glad that they're another contributor in the market creating a really awesome pre-built PC and once again Again, if you want to pick this thing up or the other PCs that already come with graphics cards, if you have a little bit more of a budget to work with, check the link down below and check out NZXT Build. And they were nice enough to sponsor this video so we could showcase their really awesome new foundation PC. So now the benchmarking is done, let's bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, so you just got to see double benchmarks because we tested not only the 5600G integrated APU graphics, but we also tested it with a 6600 XT. And I was not lying when I said it was a very large upgrade, totally worth it. So whenever you guys are ready, you know, use the link in the description down below to buy this PC. And then, you know, well, maybe we'll add some links on graphics cards you can also buy with it. That is the best part about the 5600G is because right now the market is kind of crazy for graphics cards. You can get up in game now and then upgrade later to play the latest and greatest titles at pretty much max settings. So once again, thanks NZXC for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out this PC by using the link down below and all the other build PCs they have. But this one is pretty awesome because it's very budget friendly and hopefully it is in stock much more easily than the, uh, well, other PCs that have graphics cards because that's the problem right now. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey, did you know that we are famous on TikTok now? Yeah, sure, we're famous. We have a TikTok that only has 2 million views. Is it close to 2 million? It's pretty close. Okay, it's, I think it's past 2 million. But yeah, we got our TikTok, we got Twitter, we got Instagram, we got all our social media. But yeah, definitely check out TikTok. We do a lot of crazy and silly stuff about stuff going around here at the office. So definitely take a look at that. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.